Hello everyone, welcome back to Atreyu Crochet. So I got a request to show how to add some lettering to a scarf. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Let's get started. So things you will need, obviously, you need whatever object you're going to be adding the lettering to. I created this little swatch. It's just uh, made up of several rows of single crochet. The thing to note is that when you're adding lettering to something, you want the stitches to be close together. Like you don't want to have a whole bunch of holes or gaps because that's going to limit where you can actually insert your crochet hook to create the lettering. Okay, Single crochet is a good stitch because it keeps everything nice and close together and so there are no real gaps in there um, that we can't utilize. Basically, we can crochet, as you will see, slip stitches any and everywhere in here, okay? The other thing to note is that I had this leftover uh, Super Soft Karen yarn, and it's like a silky color, so if you want like your lettering to look really fancy, then you know if you have some Simply Soft Karen yarn, then that would be a good option. Uh, this yarn calls for a uh, crochet hook, uh, five millimeters. So anywhere around that range, you guys know I use six because of my tension, but feel free to use what the yarn calls for. Uh, you just want to actually be able to go into these stitches, okay? You can even go a little bit smaller. And then you don't have to, but I think it'd be a good idea to kind of draw out, like write out how you want your lettering to look and then you can glance back at it as you're you know making as we're crocheting these letters out all right so as you can see i cut me just a little bit of the yarn obviously i don't need the whole skein to create this lettering and the first thing i want to do is figure out where i want to start i want to start there on that side of the a so i find the corresponding spot on my swatch and i'm going to say i'm going to put it there okay so I'm going to grab my yarn, hook it on, and then pull through to the front, just one side like that, okay? Now I want to go on the other side and I want to pull that yarn back to the back side. So I hook it on and then I pull to the back like that. The reason that we do that is because we now want to tie a knot so when we pull both strands it's hooked around that stitch and it won't come out so we turn I work like this and then we tie a couple of knots one two okay now the yarn is secure so we'll stick our crochet hook back in the point that we started okay and then the working yarn okay that's where we will yarn over and pull once again to the front and now we have a loop on our crochet hook okay. all right so looking at this I got my game plan I know I want to go over and up so I know I want to go over and I'm going to insert my crochet hook there and then on this side I want to yarn over and then I want to pull that through to the front like that and you might see that you're about to take some of the red in this case so if that happens then just take it out and make sure you're bringing the yarn from the back and clean so when I say clean just that yarn so try again insert okay now yarn over pull it to the front and that time I made it without getting any other red and I pulled it through and I created a little chain all right so I'm gonna go over again and up like that so over and up so I insert my crochet hook where I want the lettering to go on this side I'm yarning over and then I'm pulling to the front and I'm pulling through like that and it creates a chain so looking at this, I see I'm going to kind of go over more while going up. So I'll go over and then up, insert my crochet hook. 
And then on this side, I just yarn over, okay, like that, pull through to the front, and then pull through, all the way through. And that is what creates the chain, okay? And now I'm just going to start to go up. And this goes by really fast once you get the hang of it. So insert, yarn over on this side, pull through to the front, and go all the way through the slip stitch. Once you get the hang of this, you won't even need to flip it over. You'll know exactly where to go. Okay, now it's time to go down. So I'm going to kind of rotate this. On your screen, it'll look like you're headed north now because I rotated it. <laughs> but insert where you want it to go, yarn over, pull through to the front, and go all the way through. See how I didn't even have to flip it over? I can feel the yarn, and I know where it's going. Okay, and so all I need to do is bring it to the front after I yarn over, like that. So this is creating the A, okay? And just check in, take a look at this every so often to see if it's, if you're doing what you actually want. I don't know if you guys can see, but that one's a little weird. Either it's that one or the next one. The good thing about this is you can take it out really easily. Just take it out like that and pull on the yarn in the back and it'll undo it. And then you can start from where you want to by just reinserting your crochet hook and then try again. So now I want to pull and then make it. And that looks better to me. Okay. So I'll go like that, like that. Okay, and I'm going to go down one more, and then I'm going to start to see how this kind of curves up there, so it kind of curves up there, I'm going to do that, so rotate it again, just to kind of, like that. And that is a little too big because my tension was a little loose. So I'm going to take it out, pull to create a tighter tension, and then try again. Like that. And see how it's smaller now? So very easy. Like that. And then that's what I'm going to... Actually, see, now I've decided to change my mind. <laughs> I think I'm going to... To finish the A, I'm just going to go across like that. And you can be creative just like that, okay? So let me do that. I'm just going to go across. So like that, like that. See how quick this works out, you guys? Like that, like that. You can go on the other side of it, like that. Wherever you want the yarn to go, that's just where you insert your crochet hook and you make the slip stitch, like that. Okay, look at that, so beautiful. Okay, and you might be wondering, okay, how do you end this? Well, insert your crochet hook like that. So if you have enough of the lettering in place, then you can just pull your yarn through, like that. And then, Insert your crochet hook, pull it back to the back side. All right. And you could do a couple of knots, okay? Um, you could go through a nearby stitch and tie a knot that way if you want. So let's see, I'll do it this way. And so it could help to use a smaller crochet hook. This is, you don't have to do this, but this is just if you want to really make sure it's secure. So go through some nearby loops, create a loop and then make a chain. And then pull, and that'll create a knot. And now the yarn is secure. So this is what it looks like on the back. This is what it looks like on the front. Okay, that's my A. Let's do the C. All right, you guys, you can already see I deviated from this, but this is just a reference. Uh, you guys know how I am. I usually do things on the fly, and that was definitely on the fly. Uh, but I'm going to do the C now. So I think I'm going to start over here and go through like that and go down. So just like before, 
from the back, start, insert your crochet hook where you want it to start. I think I'm going to start there. Hook it on, pull one side through, and then go on the other side of that stitch. Hook it on, pull it through to the other side, and then you're going to tie a couple of knots. Okay, just to make sure the yarn is secure. One, two, like that. I'll turn it back to the side that you're working on. Insert your crochet hook where you first inserted it, where you want to start, and then we'll start with the C. All right, so just the same way now, I'm gonna create my C. So I'm gonna yarn over and just make some slip stitches. I'm gonna insert my crochet hook where I want the lettering to go. It's pretty easy, you guys, and it's very quick. So you can look and see what's happening. Okay. Is that okay? Is that good? Keep going. See how that is bigger, that's bigger, and that's bigger. So I'm going to take those out because I'm kind of a perfectionist. I'm going to redo those. So pull, 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 and then there. That loop is big because I didn't give it enough tension, so I'm going to pull, and now I'm going to commence to what I was doing. And then up a little bit. Okay, it's not bad. And then I'm going to do one more just to go up a little bit, like that. Okay, pull through, and then remember on the other side, pull that yarn through to the back, like that. And then you can take this hook or a smaller one, it's easier to use a smaller one. Go through a nearby loop, yarn over, pull through, like that, and then chain one. And then pull and it creates a knot and then cut the yarn down. And then this is what you have, okay? So, yeah, that's how you create letters on whatever garment you have. It doesn't matter if it's a sweater, a backpack, <laughs> which I do have a tutorial for. I don't know how many of you guys know that. A scarf, whatever. This is how you create the lettering. By the way, you see how that is going over that way? It's because that's where I pulled the yarn in to the other side. If you don't want that, you can you can stick your crochet hook closer to where it ends and pull it in that way. But it doesn't bother me. I kind of like that look. Okay. And then on the back side, you can just cut all your tails down. I think I only have one remaining. This one can be cut down a little bit more. Yeah, and there you have it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. But you know, I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy crocheting.